Hi everyone! Welcome to my vlog! This is me again! Hello everyone! I'll be here again. I'm here again to review the... To do a review on every cologne that Corey has for this. Every uh, luxury year. cologne. Yeah, luxury cologne for this year. So now this is all what we collected and bought. Got the LV, the Versace, Dior, Hermes, Burberry, Calvin Klein, Lacoste, and Gucci. Yeah. So we're not gonna say how much it was because you saw the other videos of each of them unboxing. But we're gonna uh, do a review for the scent of this and which one is my our favorite and the least favorite not the least but i can't i can't say it. it's the it's it's i uh, know it's it's the least we we used <laughs> i can say that it's a bad day because <laughs> we bought this all <laughs> yeah. there's none there's no bad smells here but it's all good but there's few that we're uh there's few the that really stands out for us. So And she's not gonna be judging strictly on the scent. She's gonna be judging judging on the full package, the the bottle, how it's gonna display, the lid, the scent too, of course, the packaging. So we're gonna uh do the review na for the scents. First is the scent, the most favorite scent. For Cory, the top one is... The Burberry. <laughs> it's my all-time favorite scent out of all these. It smells so good. Yeah. The second? Second, probably the LV. Maybe. And the third? Third, probably have to be the Hermes. Yeah, that's for Cory, because he's a guy. Of course, that's yours. But for me, my most favorite scent, uh, scent here is one is the Hermes, the Hermes, yeah, Hermes. Second is the Lacoste. It's my own smell, lah. Don't don't judge me. And then third is the Louis, the Louis Vuitton. So, cause. I do like the other scents too, especially this one because this is my dad's uh, scent. But comparing it to the others, this other that I choose smells better, it smells good. Because it's not that strong, it's not that manly, it's it's a guy perfume but uh, it's like a sweet guy thing, you know, for me. So that's my choice. So for Corey, why do you choose that? <laughs> the Burberry, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just, it's an amazing scent. It's its not the most expensive. It's not even in the top three most expensive. So if we're doing price wise, this one would be like in the middle somewhere, but the bottle is great. And the but we're, we're rating only the scent right now. So mm -hmm. scent wise, I just think it's the best. I don't know how to explain it. It's not really manly. It's not really like, floral it's not really like sweet smelling it's it's just right yeah it's just perfect it's not really like a woody i, I can't really explain scents very yeah, well but. it's just right for this build yeah because i don't know like some of them are more kind and of age. fruity this one's like a little bit fruity the gucci yeah and his age also so next we're gonna do review on the packaging so you go first. The What's packaging, the uh, for packaging, hundred percent LV. It's the only one that come with like a little carry case with it. This goes inside the box, and this is like a basically like a little carry thing. And it, if I can open it, can you pull this? <laughs> it pops. <laughs> ASMR. And then this is exactly on the end. Yeah, it, it fits exactly on the. Yeah, and it's like a cushion in there to. 
So it would be like impact resistance. If you drop it, it's not going to break the bottle. And it's like a little carry case for it. Yeah. And it's metal on top. So if I had to say packaging. Yeah. And uh, packaging word is... Is that for the bottle too, or is that just what yeah, it came in? Just for the packaging. Oh, not bottle. for the bottle. Bottle and then the whole packaging. All right, so we're right in the bottle too with the packaging, so and this one's got a magnetic lid. Yeah. And it's like it's most of the magnetic lids are like really hard to pull off. You got to yank them. This one is so smooth; it just comes off like y'all could see it. You could just pull it right off, where it's not like really hard, and it it just feels amazing. But it don't spill. Yeah, it's just so smooth. It just goes right on and right off. Okay. And it's so heavy. This lid is probably like half a pound lid. <laughs> it's thick. It's solid metal. Yeah. But it's nice. So second. Second. With the package. I probably have to go with the, the Gucci. It's got the green glass. And it's got like metal on the bottom. And this box is the only other box that came with something different that's unique from the rest of them. It had like a little, uh, like a ribbon that was tied this way and tied this way. And it made like a little bow down here and you pull that bow and it opened up. If y'all haven't uh, seen the review for this, the Gucci, or it's an unboxing, it's called Gucci Unboxing. Then y'all should go check it out and y'all could see the original packaging where it had the red, the ribbon on it, the Gucci ribbon. So this one's second for sure. And then your third. Ooh. Third. It's a toss up between, because the bottle for the Fahrenheit, I like how it goes like dark collar down to light collar. Same for the Lacoste, it goes like light collar down to dark collar. So they're like gradient collar. But I'm probably gonna have to go with the Calvin Klein because it's unique too, where it's got the it's got this cap and you twist that cap off and it's got like another little cap that goes in there that you spray with. Where's that? It's in, it's oh, it's inside the box. But that's really unique. It's special. And it's got this cloth around it that's like really unique. It's like a wristband or something. And they spray, I think they spray it on that. Same for this. This is so unique too. On the Lacoste, they spray it on that little alligator so you could smell it on the alligator without having to open it. But if I had to pick one, it would come down to these two, and I'd probably have to pick the Calvin Klein because it's got the little tap on it where you got to take this off and put the other tap on, and then it's got the wristband thing on it. But that would be third. So, that's for you. It's a guy's review. <laughs> yeah. So, for me, for my own perspective, the first one, of course, is the Louis, Louis Vuitton. Because of the packaging, it's really nice. And... And you can you can use it to you can use the actual uh, package to travel or when you're traveling, so it won't spill. And my second is the uh, the the Hermes because it's cute. Eh? It has like this. Eh? Yeah, show them the bottom. Yeah, the bottom. It's got like it's a different, different colored glass. Yeah. And it's unique to open. It's not like the other perfuming. I forgot about that actually. It twists. You can you just twist you just have to twist it and then twist it up to lock. Yeah, out of all of them it's the only one that does that. Yeah. So Oi <laughs> For my third I don't wanna be biased but of course this one cuz this the the perfume has no the i mean the cologne has no color but since the bottle has color it looks it looks like the the perfume has i mean the cologne has has color but anyway this is so nice cuz it the cup blends on the on the bottle at the top cuz it's dark until uh the uh to you know light and it's different it's like fire color so it's that's, third yeah it's i like the dior bottle a lot too in the packaging for this this one is actually one of my favorites too but i couldn't put it in the top three there were so many other amazing choices i had to put it a little bit lower it might have been fourth for me or fifth but 
I do love the bottle for this. It's super cool and unique. And <clears throat> it's, it's a small bottle too. It's like, I think this one's only like less than 50. That's 30. Yeah, this one's only 30 ml. This doesn't seem right. This bottle's really small too, and this one is 50 ml. Because of the thickness of the bottle. Yeah, this one must just be like a thick glass too. Yeah, so now let's do a, a review for the, ano, how we purchase this item. <laughs> Let's do that. What, the most expensive? No, like how we purchase it. Like is it, if it's easy to purchase or how did we got it. Well, all of them like, wasn't really hard. To, the only one that was hard to find. Your first one. Me first? Yeah, of course. It's the, easy. <laughs> if we're going by my most rare. I mean, the most easiest to, to buy. Like... For over, overall, like talking to the, to the guy, to the. Sales we should do sales. hardest to buy. Huh? We should do hardest to buy to, to like hardest to find and most yeah. rare. Maybe later about first the how we purchase it, like the people we. Talk oh, like to. the most accommodating. Yeah. Most accommodating, probably have to be LV. They they. Girl. Yeah, they have like a seat on the couch. You could sit on the couch. They offer you water and. And drinks if you'd like anything to drink. Yeah. And then you're second. And then the, they give you samples. The ones that you have to ask for samples, it's a little bit less accommodating. You got to ask them. And sometimes they still don't even put it in there. But the ones that just, you don't even have to ask. This is like the LV is one of the only ones where we had it, we didn't even have to ask for a sample. She just naturally put two extra samples in there. Yeah. Which is yeah. great. Yeah. And then you're second. So LV number one. Number two comes down to the Hermes and the the Gucci. Probably the Gucci, actually. They had a nice couch. They offered us a seat, too. We sat down. And they did offer us a drink, too. Yeah, in Japan. Yeah, this came from Japan. They offered us a water and everything, too. And, and, and we sat on the couch. Booth. Yeah, photo booth. We got a free picture. That's great. Yeah. Very accommodating. And then you three. Most of these other ones came from similar places. All these came from, like, Basically the same building. This one is different. I guess the Hermes probably had to be third. They was, it was a different lady. She was a nice lady. She uh, gave us samples too. She gave us free samples. Yeah. The ones that didn't come with samples was like Lacoste, the Calvin Klein. Wait, Calvin Klein did give samples. Yeah. The Lacoste didn't. The Burberry didn't. Oh, yes. They gave the Moshi. Oh, yeah, the bear. The, that one's a really cool uh, sample. So that one so is one, top tier. Versace one did, didn't. This one didn't. And then this one yeah. really didn't. Yeah, I asked them for a sample like three times. And, yeah, and they kept saying, yeah. She said, yeah, we'll give you a sample. And, I, and then we walked out and there wasn't one in the bag. And I even went back and asked her for a sample. And she like dropped something in there and we walked away again. A makeup. Yeah, it was makeup. Mm -hmm. So we just so left after that. We didn't go back again. So that's yours. For me, the most accommodating is the Louis V because they it's for me the the place is really really nice and they offer drinks like water and not just a normal water. It's a sparkling water. Did you did you even No, I didn't even realize that. It's in the bottle. It's a sparkling water and you need and they before they give this to you or while you're waiting for the for the item they let you sit on the couch and wait on a nice place and and the area is cool eh? and then the girl here is very accommodating so that's the best and then second is of course the gucci same as you because there's photo booth and it's in japan and there's photo booth and and there's couch and the girl there is very, very uh, accommodating. So, my third is... The third was a toss-up for me, too. The first two was easy, and the third one is like a toss-up. It's hard to pick, really, the third. But the first two was easy for me, too. Yeah, for me, the third is Burberry. Uh, it's that time... Though we purchased this one and then this uh, this one, 
I know not this one. This one and then this one. No, this one was last. Last I purchase. These two, we purchased it at the same place. Yeah. At least times. But the guy when when whenever we purchased this one, uh he asked if um it's like it's like very accommodating. He asked if we need something more or something else because he gave us a bunch of uh, scents to choose from. So for me, this is my third uh, most accommodating. It's great because uh, Burberry is Just remember, we have one lots, of my favorites. We have lots of, uh, no, of uh, scent, the sample scent, uh, the best three scents. So that's it. Okay, now we should uh, rate them by what is the most rare and hardest to find. Yeah, okay. You go first. So, number one, got to be the LV. It's super rare, super hard to find. You can't find this on Amazon. You can't find it on online shopping. You can't find it probably any. I guarantee you there's no, no LV in West Virginia. So, most states don't have it. Most places don't have it. You got to go to like a really fancy mall or something that's really nice to find this it's super rare and for a good reason yeah and they're second second rare second probably the hermes this is like the same as the lv you can't find this really anywhere you can't find it online you can't find it on amazon you can't find a store for this i've never seen a store for this ever anywhere except for here yeah. same for the lv and your third third's got to be the gucci you can find the gucci online but it's still rare like no not there's not a lot of people who has it it's not easy to find it's most of the time sold out if you did find it online yeah. and the rest of these you could find all the rest of these on uh, online like the maybe not the dior too maybe not this fahrenheit this fahrenheit is actually really rare yeah. I, I would have to put the fahrenheit the third. third yeah over the gucci because the gucci you could find the fahrenheit is harder to find this specific scent because we went to two separate Gucci stores and looked online and they- Dior? Yeah, there was only one Dior store that had one bottle of this, so. Mm -hmm. So the, the Fahrenheit would probably have to be third. Yeah, for me naman, of course, the most rare for me is this one. Cause there's a, uh, there's a bunch of scents to choose from. So you'll never know which is it, which is this. Because it's hard to to remember the name also. And you can't find it anywhere like online because they only offer it at the store. Then second is also the Hermes. Because same thing, you can just buy it online or you can just buy it uh, in a normal mall. You have to go on a luxury mall or yeah, the place, uh, luxury places. And then my third is the cal the I mean the Dior, the Fahrenheit. Because when we purchased this, uh, what you just said, we went to two different Dior store. One offers only clothes and bags and stuff. And then the other one offers the lotions, the the makeups and then the perfumes and cologne. But when we got there, if you remember, it's not at the it's not on display. So if you don't know this Fahrenheit, you will never know that they have this scent because it's in in the drawer. It's hidden. So So you have to specifically ask and when yeah. we did ask, there was only one bottle. Yeah. And yeah, you have to ask for it cuz it's really hidden. No, I think not everyone knows that Fahrenheit is Dior. Cuz remember when when you saw this bottle at the one of the store in Japan, yeah. you said that, oh, it's Dior. And I, I, I was just, uh, I also mean, I didn't know at first, like before, I didn't know at first that I can, I only seen the Fahrenheit, the box, whenever my, my uncle gives my dad a perfume. And I mean, a cologne. So, Whenever I see the Fahrenheit in it, I was thinking what Fahrenheit is. And then until after some time, I saw the whole bottle, it says Dior. 
So that's when I knew that the Fahrenheit is Dior. It's a luxury brand. So for me, that's my most favorite, the top three. Most, uh, I, not favorite, but what, what's that? Uh, hard to find. Yeah, most rare. Yeah, most rare. So. That's, we had the same rating on the top three for our most rare. So yeah. that was cool. Bomb. And that was awkward <laughs> <laughs> and cringy. But and then okay, next one. Let's do the overall review. We should do uh, one more before the overall. We should do okay. price because uh, price. price is like a big factor into the overall. Yeah. Okay. Price. What's yours? What's your first? Well, this one's the not from most. Uh, from most expensive on. The, yeah, to uh, least the top three most expensive. Only on this list, longer. and then to the last. Yeah, so but this one's not like really a. We need to. I uh, know we don't need to to do it uh, each or choose each because we know the price for each. Yeah, other. that's so, what I was gonna say. So, the most expensive here is this. Yeah, the LV. The LV, because this costs like. Secret, but this is really. Can I tell them? No, don't say. But this is really expensive. Yeah, so that's number one for sure, guaranteed. And then second, what's yours? It's the Hermes. <laughs> what do you think? This one's um, almost just as much as the LV. It was 50 ml, and it was like almost half the price if you double that to the 100 ml this one's 100 or this one's only 90 ml yeah babe, so the hermes and the gucci was probably about the same babe for me i i will tell you i i will about to say that this goes next because we have to buy a ticket to japan just to purchase this. yeah <laughs> but actually this specific one in japan we have to stay to japan <laughs> yeah I had to book a plane ticket for this one so maybe this is the, the most expensive. <laughs> but actually, but anyway. this specific Gucci was cheaper than regular Gucci for some reason because it was in Japan. I have a different Gucci that's more expensive yeah, than this one. A, it's a really Gucci store in Japan. It's yeah. a really luxury place in Japan. Yeah, but since it was in, in Japan, it made it cheaper. Yeah, in Parko Mall in Shibuya. So I guess we can agree that Gucci is <laughs> second, but this one is a close, close yeah. second. This one is, that's probably about the same, honestly. Yeah, and then the third, this one. The this one was the third. Are we going to put two in second? Gucci yeah. and this is basically second. the same. They're both yeah. second. Third is this one, the Burberry. And this one is also a toss-up, too. I think it's the Dior, because the Dior was almost as much as this, and this is more than double the amount mm. of this. Okay, but... Regardless, regardless on the on the ml or the amount of the perfume, cause we just purchased. Oh, it's supposed it. to be like bang for your buck. Which one is the most expensive brand? Yeah. So this one is only thirty ml. This one's a hundred ml. So you can fit more than three of these inside of this. So if you take that into account, the cost of three of these would be way more than one of these. Yeah, but so technically, Dior this Fahrenheit is way more expensive than the Burberry. But I mean, like, let's not give them something to think about pa. Let's just uh, tell them what's our most, uh, uh, what's the most expensive here when we purchase this. So let's, regardless of what, what amount it is or I mean, the sizes. Or yeah, but if you factor in the ML, the most expensive brand, we're talking about the expensive brand, not the most expensive bottle. Yeah. So, so brand, which one would be next? And then this is next. I I think so, yeah. And then this is third. Yeah. And then fourth. I think the Dior, if I had to say, because I think this one is the. It was this one is barely more expensive, but like I said, it's three times as more than three times as much this ml. Is, this is. Yeah, I didn't even know it was that much. I thought it was <laughs> less. I thought it was seven. The, no, don't say that. This is this is the third one, and then I think the next one is this one. Yeah, Dior. And then the third, I am in the. 
I mean, Wait, that would be one, two, no, one, two, three, four, 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 five. And then for me, six is this one. I know this one. I know it's a name. <sighs> ah, this one. No, that one's last for sure. This one is not. not. 100% last. <laughs> I couldn't remember. So these two, I think they was. No, this goes uh, the six. Six. Six, I guess. And then seven. Both of these was really not that expensive. They was kind of expensive, but for a clone. But they, they're they not like a really luxury clone. It is luxury. It's a, I guess it is luxury, but like not like crazy expensive. These ones are yeah. on the cheaper end. Yeah, and then after this, this one. And then last. Yeah. Last but not least is the Versace. Yeah. The Versace in the car. It's an inside joke. If you guys know, then you know. And most of you guys probably don't know. No, they don't know. Yeah. Because my sister's fiancé has the, the Versace. And because of the song, I mean, my sister's fiancé has the Versace. And we gave him that. And he forgot it at the car on, when I, on our wedding day. Yeah, Last they had a rental year. car. Yeah, they they got a rental car because going home because we got our car. But they, uh, Jansen forgot the bottle, a whole bottle of new perfume, of new Versace on that car. So whenever he was asking the owner of the car, he said he didn't find it. But even though Jansen said that it's... He, he only forgot it there. Yeah, he knew so, it was there in the car, but the yeah. the rental owner, the person who actually owned yeah. the car that he rented from, but said it maybe, wasn't there. Yeah, but, and then, because of, uh, whenever we tease Jansen, or whenever pick, we pick on Jansen, we always uh, sing the song, because the, there's a song, Versace on the floor. <laughs> so, whenever we see the Versace, we sing it to Jansen, like Versace on the car. Just to pick on Jensen. <laughs> uh, also, whenever he first got back, after he took the car back, he got out and he was started, we was packing everything up and his eyes just lit up. He said, oh no, Versace at the car. <laughs> he he instantly knew that it was at the car. So yeah. that was funny. It was so funny. We all just started laughing. Yeah, but it's a, it's, a, it's just a joke on us. But anyway, that's all. But ah, we're going to do the overall Oh yeah, mm -hmm. the overall. Overall for like what? <laughs> just everything that we just now mentioned. Favorite, like yeah, the number everything. one favorite. Like it counts for the bottle, the smell, the yeah, price. The overall. Yeah, how hard it was to get. Yeah, like our favorite, favorite, favorite. So you go first, cause it's it's yours. Right? Yeah, and then you you'll be last I'm to not, end the video. No, I'm I'm gonna do first, cause it's your thing. Are you sure? Yeah. So, my most favorite is for Corey, for that handsome guy in front of me, is this one, the Louis Vuitton. Because it, the scent and then the packaging, everything on it, when you spray it to Corey, it smells like, it makes it so good. <laughs> it makes it more better. It's like Corey's become ano na, a luxury brand. <laughs> <laughs> So second one is the Burberry. Cause it's choice. yeah, cause it complements the smell of my own Burberry too. Yeah, we when we first got the Burberry, we forgot to mention that she has some of these brands. She's got a Hermes Twilly. She's got a Burberry too. When we first got the Burberries, we said we're Burberrians. Yeah, I have a Hermes. I have the Burberry. I have the Dior. I have the Gucci. I have... You have Gucci? Yeah. I didn't even know. I've never <laughs> seen your Gucci. In the house. And then I got other perfumes. I forgot not because Tito Randy and Tita Kari always gives me perfume. Yeah. Let us know in the comments if y'all want to see a review of her uh, <laughs> perfumes because she's got a lot too. I didn't know she had the Gucci. Yeah. And her uh, Dior is different scent. The... Yeah. These are all different. These are... Uh... Yeah. Because my, my perfume is not 
for me it's not a, it's not a collection i just pray whenever i want or whichever i want so for me i don't really collect i just i just have it <laughs> yeah, but still let us know in the comments if y'all want to see her do her collection of uh perfumes and also i have joe malone which you don't have yeah she's got versace joe malone the uh, dior mm -hmm. she's got hermes burberry uh, yeah. gucci she's basically got all these except for the you got lacoste too don't you yeah i think so and then oh yeah i have this one the lacoste so and she pretty I much has all these Gigi, Adolce, and gabbana but i don't have calvin klein because it's a guy yeah. perfume and she don't have the LV either. Those are the only two that yeah, she don't the have. LV, I don't have LV. But I got the Twili, the Hermé. Twili, the Hermé. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe next year we'll get her the LV. It depends if I want. Because it's not really my thing eh, to collect perfume. And I'm not into perfume. Because you know it. You know it. The, the Joe Loves that I got. It's the first thing that we bought last uh when last september it's still on my bag it's still the same bottle and i haven't finished it yet so anyway but i don't stink ah i do smell naman nice <laughs> Tell them naman no. yeah, she always smells so good like she always smells sweet like a candy yeah because some of her perfumes smell like really sweet smell Yeah, just when we're going out. Yeah. But anyway, so that's my my favorite. And then the third for uh, favorite is the, the Fahrenheit. I thought you said uh, LV is number one, then Burberry is number two. Yeah, this one. this. And what's your third? One. And then the third one is the Dior. Dior Fahrenheit. Yeah, the Fahrenheit because it's my dad scent. So that would be her top three. Yeah, and whenever you spray it, it's like dad is alive again. <laughs> yeah. And moving. Okay. You and if you had to go down to your next favorites, which yes, one, which, uh, what would be your so fourth? I'll, I'll, and then after this, this, the Hermé. So fourth would be Hermes. Terre de Hermé. Yeah, now fifth. <laughs> and then this one goes. The cost, a great choice too. Next. And then this one, next. And then this one next, and then this is the last. Versace I don't know, life. but Versace, it's a nice brand, man, but I don't know. It's my least favorite. Or yeah. maybe it's too manly, because I don't like it too manly. Yeah. I just, I just want, like, right, whenever I look at you, especially, it's like, I know that you, it's you who smells like that. Anyway, you go now. It's yeah. hard to explain. Same for me. I completely understand. Versace is uh, my last on the list for a lot of things, but not. It's a good smell. Yeah, but not on the scent. It's not my last favorite on the scent wise. Y'all see what my last is here in a minute. Number one, Burberry. Uh, this is all around, not just scent. Yeah. This is the all around uh, number one favorite of all of them. Burberry for sure, number one for me. I love the Burberry. It smells so good. Great packaging wasn't crazy expensive or anything so you get a good bang for your buck it's got the magnetic lid great quality lid mm. everything about it is just amazing for me I, I love the burberry so much and because it's partnered with another with her burberry mm -hmm. and when we wear it we're barbarians <laughs> and they these most of his and her scents they don't really match very well the burberry scents the his and hers burberry they do match perfectly Second, for me, the LV. It smells amazing. Great packaging. Very accommodating. Just all around. Great experience. <laughs> like, uh, just when you wear it, you just feel nicer. You feel more clean when you wear it. And then they third. So, second, LV for sure. Third. Third is really a toss-up for me. I'd probably have to go with the Hermes for third. <laughs> For third, all around. It's got the unique twisty lid. And it's an amazing scent. It's a different bottle. Yeah, cool bottle. How oh, it's orange on the bottom. It's kind of 
kind of like a unique bottle. So for sure, third on the Hermes. Now fourth, probably have to go with the Gucci. It's a good package. I like the scent, cool bottle. I have to be fourth for the Gucci. Fifth, maybe the Calvin Klein, probably fifth for smell, mainly because the smell. Both of these ones are like a toss up. Don't say because of the smell. I know. <laughs> I know, but like, like all around wise, yeah, this one slowly beats the Lacoste because the smell's a little bit better. So that makes it a little bit over top of the Lacoste if I had to pick one over the other. Yeah. And then Lacoste. And then the Versace. And last for me, smell wise, is this the Dior. It smells like oil to me and I don't really like the smell. It's it's for like an older guy and maybe like really super extremely manly scent. Yeah. So you see, you use that whenever you, you became a dad now. Yeah. <laughs> whenever you wear this you gotta eat nails and, and, and razor blades for breakfast in your cereal. I mean whenever you wear this you should be a dad. Yeah. <laughs> You have to work on cars if you wear this. <laughs> but wait, I'm gonna put it on. It's welding. Anyway. And this. So that's all for our review today. Cause uh car is going tomorrow. Yeah, and there's so much to explain about the about the uh, Kim's visa and how she's gonna come back to the U.S. Yeah. It was so much harder than we expected, and just extremely difficult. And there's so many things about it that a lot of you guys probably don't know. Yeah, because some people think that when we get married, instantly U.S. No, it doesn't work like that. You have to take time, and you have to finish all the forms which is uh 13 pages to 20 pages you have to fill it up yeah and it's not even just that you got to meet the credentials to be able to fill it up yeah. like there's one uh thing that we got to do we have to get the lease for a house with both of our names on it yeah like is... in the u.s where we're going to be living at so i have to get a lease for a house with both of our names on it which is extremely difficult. Not anybody can just go and buy a house and get a lease with both of our names on it. Yeah, and then second, the other the other additional documents that they are needing is the uh, the bank account, the joint uh, bank account, which is I can we cannot open here yet because we have to get Corey an alien visa here first, a residency, which is he needs to stay for long uh, one six months or longer. Yeah, so I have to stay <laughs> for six months or longer to get the alien visa. That's why we can't, we can't get it easily. So please don't judge us. We do work out our visa for years. Yeah. So it's really, really, really hard. It's does it doesn't seem like easy like how you how you think it is because normally people just think that that it's easy go to embassy and stuff. No, you have to meet the requirements first. So, it's hard to do. Especially when we only have a uh, few uh, days together, like few months together. Just, Corey can't stay longer than two months because it's gonna be December soon and Momos need him. And Papa's need him. Yeah, and you guys need Mama. Yeah, and me too. I can't just go to Cory because I need my visa first. So, even if a tourist visa, they won't allow me because we're already married. Yeah, she can only get the tourist visa if we wasn't married and she was touring there. If she's married, then she has to apply for the spousal visa, which is what we're trying to do, which is really complicated to get. Yeah. Like Some she said... Yeah, some people know it eh, that it's very complicated because, you know, guys, your 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 embassy, the U.S. embassy, is really strict when it comes to uh, alien or foreigner going to your country. 
So even it's just stories, we need to accomplish a form, a 13 pages form, just just to have a visa. And it's not it not it's not just a form. It needs to be legalized. Some of it needs to have affidavit, which is uh, we need an attorney to, to yeah. legalize it. Yeah, and to and verify it. Yeah, and then a seal on your U.S. Embassy. Yeah, and seal of approval. Embassy, which is, takes time because it's not just us who's applying for it. It's a bunch of people and we're on queue. So... Yeah, and there's so many other judge us, there's you know? still dozens of other factors into it that she didn't even mention just now like the w the one that she said about the our bank account we have to have a joint bank account here that's yeah. and the only way to get a joint bank account here is if i stayed here for uh, over six months so i can get the alien uh, visa and then after i get that then we can have the joint bank account and we can use that on our her visa. Yeah, but that's after six months back because every you everyone knows it that even if you open an account, you you can only use that uh, bank account for a document for a supporting document after six months because that's uh, that's the normal uh, I can legality of the form because it has to be your account or uh, has to be. Uh, use and running for some time before you can use it as a legal document yeah it has to have money going in and out for a certain amount yeah, of time it's like it's like i uh, know it's like a certificate of bank account or statement bank statement because at the bank they know it they only get or they will only give you this bank statement if it's after six months or if your account is already uh, running in six months so if it's not they won't they can't give you yeah and also we gotta have two uh, other people have a written statement like maybe her mom and maybe mama mm -hmm. but I don't know if we're mama's really, acceptable cuz yeah, it's like it has to be somebody that's seen us together still and yeah. somebody that witnessed us still currently being together yeah. And it's not talking about marriage, it's talking about, like, if we're still, like, physically or, like, mentally together. Like, like you could be split up and still be married, but not yet divorced. They they need people to have a written statement to prove that we are still currently together. Yeah. And that's going to be a difficult one, too. We can use our mom for one, probably. So, maybe, so you we can use your statements on the yeah because i think you know us very well eh? <laughs> like yeah. as if we're friends <laughs> yeah Some of the ano, ah, the very 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 uh i can't say that they're bad or or not they're not nice <laughs> in the comments they're really not nice in the comments so maybe you can help us because I think you know us. You can answer questions for us, eh? So maybe you know. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the bashers they know more about us than the than the people who watch us all yeah, the time. Apparently, it's, it's funny like how they can answer for us, even though even though they don't know what the real answer is or what our plans is. It's like they know us. It's like we're friends. Yeah, honestly, they don't know anything about us, the, the bashers, and they just make up false stories about us, like what we're going to do and like where we're going and what's yeah. next for us, and really, we've yeah. never even said. They don't even know. Yeah, I, I can't, I won't say their name on the comments, because I don't want, I want don't, to put them on blast. Yeah, I don't want to do that, even though they're mean, but some of them, uh, it's like they know us, it's like it's really annoying also because they answer questions that not even true and make other people believe that it's what it is and the the most the most uh hate i mean the most worst thing that i hate about it whenever they bash us is they will comment on every call co on every video of and on every comment on every video of other people and then 
once they uh, wait, uh, once I answer them, they will like a conversation na like a long conversation. They will delete their comments at the top. Like they will make me look bad. Yeah. So then it looks like Kim is talking yeah. to the person that's at the top of the list when really she was talking to the person that was bashing her. Yeah. And it makes her the people at the top of the list think that Kim was being mean to them. Yeah. There's one one uh, nice lady. I didn't mean to answer it for her because that the basher answered for her first and I just answered for the basher. But since that basher deletes the first message, so it looks like my message is for the nice lady. But I said uh, it's just a misunderstanding and it's ne really not for her. It's for the basher. So that's what annoys me. They do that. Yeah, but there is uh, there's more nice people out there in the comments yeah. than there is bashers there's only just a, a few bashers that's always around but there's so many of you yeah, that's man. nice and that y'all are family to us yeah. and we do love and appreciate each and every one of you guys and we thank y'all so much for everything y'all do for us we thank y'all for watching the videos and for yeah. commenting and for all your nice comments and just, yeah we're just thankful for you watching our videos that's it yeah, just yeah. That. it means and, so much to us yeah and then on those people who who do much more than that than watching our video like doing something else than that we really really we really appreciate it and we really 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 thankful for it but you know we're not uh some people think that we're taking advantage so we never do that yeah, we've never we just, asked for anything yeah, except for us simply watching the video and leaving a thumbs up yeah. and a comment those are the only things we ask for and that's that's yeah. more than enough for us yeah and, and that subscribe. means so much yeah because we like it whenever you watch our videos eh? and also the the things that we bought like these things we earn this uh we earn the amount of of money that we use for this from our jobs so please don't judge us yeah kim's technically has never even been paid from youtube yet yeah she's never received any amount of money from youtube at all ever but i use my own ano, uh, my mon our, our money yeah from her job is what she my means my job and the business and yeah. our job so she is monetized on YouTube now. That's why it helps us so much whenever y'all watch the videos. If y'all yeah. do watch, try to make sure to watch the ads and it, it'll help her out. Yeah, but technically, I just want them to watch my video. Yeah, and then like and watching. subscribe so we can grow uh, her family. Yeah, and her and YouTube let family. Me, yeah, and let me know what you want want me to unbox next or you want me to, to collect next. Or also travel. I'll be traveling soon. So... Don't worry, I'll say I save my own money for that. <laughs> Cause they think that we on a way we're getting something. No, we don't. Uh, I'll go ahead and spill the beans. She's going to Vietnam like <laughs> at the end of this month. And then there's one more, but we're still discussing. Yeah, uh, <laughs> she wants to go to Hong Kong too, like the month after that. But that I'm one is. Not in the month next year. Yeah, that's the month after that. But that's <laughs> <laughs> that's. Uh... <laughs> I don't think she should go to Hong Kong too and Vietnam. I think it's either one or the other. And she's already set on Vietnam, so she's going there at the end of this month. But we're still discussing. Yeah. Help me. Help but those me. places, any like Asian countries, she don't need any qualification. She can just go yeah. straight there, that just like too. I can go here. Yeah, that one too. Any countries that I've been, like, like in Asia. Even, yeah, in Asia. I don't need a visa to go there. Because we're visa free. So, I'm, I don't have problem when I go there. It's not like because I don't want to go to Cory or, or West Virginia. It's, it's just because it's hard to go there than going to other countries. But I'm working on it. Like, I mean, other Asian countries. But I'm working on going to US. So... Please don't judge me that, you know, just don't judge me. You don't know me. 
don't know my parents. Yeah. So well, some of you guys do know us, and uh, we do appreciate the people who actually pay attention enough to, to get to know us. Yeah. And some people know the process. Yeah. Get, go, getting in the U.S. Yeah, so and those people are very understanding. Spread, spread awareness. Yeah. <laughs> we appreciate you Some people y'all. is not aware. They just comment what, or they just say what they think it is. So, no. Please research. Do some awareness. Do some, uh, uh, yeah. More research. Go to usembassy.com. Yeah. <laughs> so that's all. But anyway, we're gonna end this video na. Because this is this is the main goal of this video. <laughs> so that's all for today. Thank you for watching and we I'll, see this you, I'll see you on my next video. But I'm gonna miss my camera man. This is going na tomorrow. We hope all this talking uh, helped to clear some things up for you guys. Yeah, because you want you want you want us to answer some questions, eh? But some of the personal questions we won't need to answer, and we don't want to answer because uh, it's not it's not something that we should talk about online. We don't talk about it to any other people, especially not online. Yeah. Even and in person, not, we don't talk yeah, about it to people not, in person. And it's not because we're we're a YouTuber or a vlogger. We should we should brought up our whole life to you. You know, guys, we have personal life too. We have private lives, so we don't we want to be uh, still private for our our uh, personal life, like how we met, where I work, where I live, where Corey. Uh, go or where Cory lives or also something more personal so no we can't answer everything yeah. so. but since we're on the question and answers another question that's brought up a lot and all the time is if she's pregnant no she is not no, pregnant no i'm not pregnant i just love to eat don't say that <laughs> <laughs> please don't touch my belly it's just it's just, I just love to eat too. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Corey and I love to eat, and we always, uh, we go on dates, and we don't do light. <laughs> yeah. We do steaks. <laughs> yeah, we'll say we it's light dinner, dinner, and then we'll order like a big steak. <laughs> like we're gonna say whenever we go to the mall, and we're gonna say, "Come on, let's eat now, cause we're hungry." And then whenever we're at the restaurant, we're, uh, before we get in the restaurant. Wait, let's just eat light. Let's just order something light. And then whenever we see the menu, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? This is it! <laughs> I ordered this, 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 and So I'm so sorry. I'm not pregnant. I will be next time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but not now. Because we have so much things to accomplish first. Yeah, we don't plan to get up. Uh... A like, baby until we're actually I, living together. Yeah, our priority is the visa. Yeah, number one priority. Yeah. And then once we're living together in one house, no matter where we're at, if we're fully locked in together at any location, that's whenever we'll start the process of a baby, maybe. Yeah, I hope soon. Yeah. <laughs> I hope soon because, babe, I'm not, I know I'm not... Uh, getting younger. <laughs> it's same for me. I'm pushing up on 30 like there's no telling. Maybe it just seems like time flies by so fast. I'm going to be 30 before you know it. So. And that's like the the main date that we set like a long time ago of when we was going to try to have kids is whenever I turn 30. And that's next year so. <laughs> Hopefully we can get our visa and everything settled and fixed up yeah, and, and be living together and, by the time I'm 30. And, and we have to settle our lives first. Like, like, yeah, really have a foundation. Yeah. I mean, not foundation because we already have that, but I mean, like, settle, like, for our own family. Yeah, we already built a strong foundation over the past 
seven years. Now we're working on the roof, trying to get a roof over our head, permanent location. Yeah. But anyway, let's end the video, man. Yeah, sorry for making the video so long. <laughs> but because we answered by your questions and we addressed some bashing and misunderstanding on the comments. So, no, I'm not disrespectful and... I'm always honest. We're always honest. And everything that you see, it's not lie. It's all real. And it's all true. So what the basher is saying, so what the basher is saying is not really what's happening. And it's not really true. They just want us uh, down. Yeah, they're trying to tear us down as <laughs> yeah. best that they can. But, but they're doing a terrible guys. job. Yeah, but sorry bashers, you can't. Because I won't let you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway I'm real so just believe what I will say because I never lie to you because yeah. there's nothing there's there's no point of lying to the viewers huh? <laughs> yeah and this is not like an act this is not a yeah, TV this is show real. this is not a TV show we're not part of the 90 days fiance <laughs> yeah. we're not part of anything this is real it's just us normal being normal in our lives. Yeah, this isn't rehearsed or anything like that either. This is just yeah. us sitting down and deciding to do a video. Yeah. We just want to do this because we want it. It's not because what the bashers think. So for the basher, comment please. I know you will. <laughs> and I'll answer. So for the for the viewers, just just believe on me. Because yeah. the basher really don't know what they're talking about and what they're planning or what their plans are and what they're saying about us because we don't know them personally we never met them and we never uh we never talk to them personally yeah so, and but for the people who do enjoy watching and the people who do yeah. appreciate the videos that we make thank you all so much for watching and I know there's so many of nice and kind people out there that do watch us, and we love y'all and appreciate y'all so much for everything y'all do for us. Yeah, so we're hungry. Now. <laughs> <laughs> no, we so haven't I, even ate breakfast yet. No, because you said that I'm, I know I look pregnant, and so I always, I know, I always uh, cover my belly. Now. Yeah, they've uh, made her self-conscious. Yeah. Huh? Because. Uh, <laughs> but I still don't care. It's my it's my body and I'm not pregnant. <laughs> but anyway, let's end the video because I'm really hungry and Koi is hungry now. So and we're gonna spend time because it's his last day today. <laughs> if you are still watching at this part in the video, comment still watching. Oh. Y'all uh <laughs> comment that in the comments to say still watching so we'll know that you're still watching all the way to the end. Yeah, next time we're gonna next year when when Koi came back and if my visa is okay or even if not whenever we see each other again we're gonna do live yeah we're gonna do live streams on her computer and yeah. maybe just a, a full day of like live streaming and stuff next time yeah but anyway that's all thank you for watching and i'm gonna end the video now so we'll see you on my next vlog. Bye. Bye. Love y'all. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see y'all on the next one. <laughs> and we do love and appreciate each and every one of y'all. Yeah. Oh. Bye bye. Wait, I'm gonna put this up before bye bye. And God so bless y'all. Y'all have a good day. So good evening. Or whatever time it is where you're at. So they will see. The Gucci is very an anuwa makulata. But bye bye.